Hello there, my name is Maria Kalanaki and I am a PhD candidate in Classical Studies in Democritus University of Thrace. My field of research is Hippocratic Studies. Specifically, I am working on the Hippocratic text of On Regimen, a text which offers us uh, dietary advice and suggestions for a healthy life and being. For convenience, I will refer to the writer of this text as Hippocrates, uh, as it seems to be uh, more and more accepted by scholars as well. Uh, in On Regimen, Hippocrates offers us a unique catalogue of the foodstuffs that were used and suggested by the Hippocratic doctors of the classical era. Hippocrates comments on their powers and uh, suggests ways of preparing and cooking according to the result that is needed. The basic principles that the reader can acknowledge in this text is, first of all, that humans are an, integ an integrate part of the universe. So there is a relation between microcosm and macrocosm. Uh, therefore, nutrition must be harmonized with the four seasons, uh, the place of inhabitants, the climate, and generally to take into account all aspects of human life. The humoral theory, which was substantial in the Hippocratic medicine and was furtherly developed by Galen, stated that the human body consists of four humors, blood, yellow bile, black bile and phlegm. Uh, all of these sh should share equal proportioned, uh, balanced proportions in the human body, otherwise health declines and illness occurs. So, Hippocratic uh, medicine was all about balance. In On Regimen, special attention is given not only to these four humours, but also to all of the other qualities that can be found in foodstuffs, such as the sweet, the sour, the bitter, and so on. Hippocrates said that all of these qualities are, must share balance and no one should exceed or fall short. Bearing all this in mind, I have prepared a special three-course meal for you uh, based on these Hippocratic principles and try to keep the coveted balance between the qualities of the foodstuffs. All of my ingredients, ingredients uh, are mentioned in On Regimen and are evaluated by Hippocrates as very nutritive. So, to begin with, here is my appetizer plate consisting of goat cheese, uh, which is powerful, warm, nutritive and constipating, according to Hippocrates, cucumber, which is cool and diuretic, and dried figs, which are also considered to be very nutritive. I chose not to include a kind of bread in my presentation, since it was so widely consumed in the classical period and the Hippocratic doctors had studied its properties and its healing powers so much that it is a totally different field which should be studied specially. The classical Athenians used, of course, many kinds of bread as appetizer, which combined with olives. But Hippocrates does not mention olives in On Regimen at all. We then go on to the main course, which, what else, is a very characteristic course for ancient Greece. We have fish with wild greens, a plate which nowadays can be found in every Greek fancy restaurant. My fish here is sea bream, which is very popular in Greece in the old times and nowadays as well. And I was able to find this very fresh one in our fish market here in Crete. Uh, Hippocrates does not mention sea bream, but he does mention a few other fish of the open sea, stating that they have a firm flesh which must be softened with good cooking. That is why I cooked this lovely fish in the oven covered with baking paper so as to keep all the juice inside. In the ancient times, it was very common to cook fish in fig leaves, uh, in lack of baking paper, of course. <laughs> it is very interesting that Hippocrates does not mention garros, the very famous fish sauce of ancient Greece. He does, though, mention brine, which he evaluates as good for preserving and making food softener. Together with my fish, I boiled these very tasty wild greens together with blight, which give to my plate a cooling property due to the boiling in water and a purgative quality too, as Hippocrates mentions. These greens are valuable according to Hippocrates 
because they bear the property of bitterness, which is, uh, which is so much needed by the human body. I have added vinegar, uh, which gives a cooling effect, constipating as well, and olive oil. I have used my herbs too, uh, sage, which is dry and constipating, uh, oregano, which is warm and purgative for yellow bile, and thyme, which is warm, purgative and releases phlegm. Hippocrates used to say that cooking with herbs makes food warm and moist. Last but not least, my dessert, the very famous nowadays Greek pastelli. I have used nuts, which Hippocrates mentions as very nutritive, that is, flax seed, which is also constipating and cooling, sesame seed, which is purgative, dry and warm, honey and raisins, which help the bowels, and pezzan, which is very nutritive, warm and laxative. This is really a superfood, a bar full of good fats and a lot of energy. So, cheers with this lovely homemade wine, the ideal company for a great Hippocratic meal. As you can see, the ideal meal is the one which combines as many qualities as possible. A human body must consume all kinds of well-cooked foods so as to soften their properties and uh, which are very strong when the food is raw. Also, many ingredients which are thought of today as superfoods were daily consumed in a common ancient Greek meal. It is not surprising to me that lately many uh, dietetic plants uh, include all of these ingredients and uh, are, thought to, are thought to be something very innovative. Uh, they utilize these ingredients in the name of Hippocrates the Great Doctor and present them as something very new and something very useful for the human uh, body. It is true, however, that the Hippocratic spirit was so strong that it still offers inspiration and provokes the admiration of all mankind. So, thank you for watching. Together with this video, you will find a document attached with my recipes. Have a nice day.